Okay, I've removed the center console from a Mercedes S-Class and the way you do that is you move the seat all the way forward to access this cover. You remove the cover and take the screw out with a... This one is a T30. Thank you. Then you remove, you take your little body panel tool and you remove the rear vent assembly. Some are more complicated than others. You just start going around the edge, get it out of there, pops out. And the reason for that is there's some connectors you need to disconnect. All right, then moving forward to the front, you just pull the shifter straight off. I had it in neutral. I don't know if you need it in neutral or not. Um, probably, but anyway, I put it in neutral just to get it off easier. Then you take your two panels off, your top panel, your bottom panel, and that'll expose two Phillips screws right here. Take these two Phillips screws out, and that's it. It's done. It's ready to come out. The next thing you do is you just lift it up. And you lift it up, 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 at a very steep angle like this, and remove it. And that's all there is to it. That's how you remove center console on a Mercedes S-Class. What I want to do is replace this highly complicated POS cup holder. You open up the door. You push down on it, it pops out, flips open. You can put a little Dixie cup in here, a little thimble, a little, this freaking complicated piece of crap that barely holds a two ounce coffee. Well, anyway, I want to take that out and I want to replace it with a power panel because the ashtray power supply is a real pain in the ass to get to. It's right here, it gets in the way to plug in and stuff and Nowadays you have more than one plug-in, so I'm going to see if I can take this guy out and replace it with a panel that has some power outlets in it. Alright, inside the center console storage bin there's this little, this little lever right here. You push it, it's like on or off is what it is. Let me show you what that does. So what that does is it opens this uh, vent here to allow cold air or warm air to get into the storage compartment. Now, I don't know, maybe if you had a beer in there or something you need to keep cool or, I don't know, something you want to keep warm. Heck, I don't know. Well, when anyway, that's what it's for, for whatever reason. Alright, and the way you remove this uh, cup holder from the cup holder compartment if you want to replace it, I've seen it for $100 on eBay. They're going for about $98. There's two little tabs on the bottom. Just kind of push on them till they unlatch, and it literally just falls right out. And there is your freaking complicated cup holder. And here's your door assembly, still functioning. Now what I want to do is I want to take this compartment, I'm going to put a face plate on here with a couple of holes in it, and I'm going to mount some cigarette lighter uh, outlets, or power outlets actually, uh, as opposed to cigarette lighter outlets, because believe it or not, they're different. And uh, so let me get started with my custom work. All right, well, the uh, console went back together, and my assembly tip is remember to start the screws first. Start the two in the back, and then start the two screws in the front, but do not tighten any of them until they're all done. Also, do your wiring last before you put your uh, vent back in. And I now have another storage compartment I took the cup holder out and I'm gonna have to just fabricate something it's gonna be kind of a box kind of a thing to fit down in here and then uh, so I can close it and open it and I'll just anchor it in the bottom there so uh, a little bit of trial and error and I'll get it eventually especially since the console is real easy to take out 
So I did see something right here. I didn't get the flaps in behind the carpet there. I need to do that. So, which shouldn't be any big deal, but uh, I saw that while I was filming and I'll take care of that. So the center console, super easy to take out. Uh, four screws and some uh, shifter paneling.